so uh, very quickly we are staring at ionic page right now what we will try to do is to add the the login form the login field which is the email the password the login and the button and then the sign up button and then the forgot password button all right to do that uh, we will go straight to the ionic framework page so go to ionicframework.com click on documentation or you just um, put slash docs then you go to components click on components and then we're looking for um, inputs and um, here it is the inputs and when you click on it it will open the input so we see different types of inputs and um, as you can see on the right side of the screen is a sample of what it looks like on phone so if we wanted this kind of inputs uh, we will uh, get it from the code that is immediately below so this code will give us exactly this but what we have is when we click on it as you can see um, it hides the name once you start typing it hides the label of the field because um, the type is fixed as you can see it's fixed that's why it is like this but if we if we change it to floating and scroll up until this floating this code touches the top bar it will change see if i scroll down it will change again whichever code is touching the top bar is what will appear here so if you wanted to see the source code you can click here to take you to github where you see the source code for this directly and um, this one doesn't look cool to me because it stays what you can type from this part of the screen uh, i don't like it and we'll scroll to we'll find the one we like Um, stacked is what I'm actually looking for as you can see when it's stacked up you can actually type you can type and still see the name so we can copy this is inside an ionic list so we can copy it and uh, when we copy I hope you see that it is stacked stacked is what we're looking for so we can go back to our code look for the ionic page the login page login.html this is login folder login.html i remember it's inside pages folder and then inside is contents that is this is where i'll end it i'll paste it i'll paste this oops all right as you can see it is pasted and um, it works pretty well for us So we're, go we're going to go and test it on the view. It is refreshing. We're expecting to see it to um, bars here. While it's opening up, as you can see, it's refreshing. Okay, um, that's it. Chrome made it yellow because it, Chrome is trying to remember my former password. So if I delete both of them, you see that it, this is how it looks like. So we still need a name for this form. And we need to put buttons here so we can just go and put buttons scroll up scroll up uh, buttons as you can see there are different types of buttons with different colors um look at their lists this is the kind of button i'm looking for You have um, basic, you have outline, you have clear. Clear is when it doesn't have border. And here are the the list. This list, this is what it generated. So we can have the fault. For instance, if we copy the fault and go and paste it in our code right beneath this, we can go and refresh. So once this works, what I'll do is to pause this video and uh, create a very beautiful form. After creating the form, I'll restart it so you can create yours. And of course, um, you should check the link in the first video part of this series. That is where I'll put the link to the GitHub code, the full source code I use for this. I'll upload everything to GitHub. All right. So as you can see, uh, we now have a login. 
So from this login, what we can do is to put it inside an ionic item. So we can just do um, ionic item, whatever is inside. Then we delete the two things inside. And we put it inside. So this is the, by the time we um, you get to the next video, you will see that I have taken my time to um, re re design this form properly. And I will show you the code so that uh, we'll have a very beautiful login system. But I also want to add that um, right there, we want to make sure that until someone fills in their name and password before the submit button becomes active, we don't want people submitting a form when it's not yet active, all right? So thank you very much. See you in the next video.